And everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers here at Candlestick Park. The running back position today, manned by a couple of stars of the sport. What are you looking for here? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing, isn't it, to do a game where it's all about the running backs. We have to talk about the, how good the quarterback is and aren't they special. Well, these two running backs are special, and we see it each week how they play, but also we see it how the offenses are designed. It is around the running backs. Breaks free. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The 49ers come out in the pistol. First and 10. Gore. I'm going to lose yards here. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. And there's Jim Harbaugh, his first two years as a head coach, all the way to the NFC title game. The next year, another step, all the way to the Super Bowl. Oh, boy, no more doubt Jim Harbaugh. This guy is just one terrific football coach. He did it at the University of San Diego. He did it at Stanford and with Andrew Luck, and he's done it in two years. He's been in the NFL. He's a great quarterback coach, and he is a leader of men. He made a decision midseason in 2012 to go with That's Colin Kaepernick. That took a lot of guts to make that call, and he proved that in the end it was the right decision to make. We well, go. he played quarterback, Jim, for a long time in the NFL, so I think that experience of being a quarterback in the league and then just having the toughness and the courage to make such a controversial change, I think we all now can look at it and say, oh, he made the right decision. But when he did it, boy, there were a lot of second guessers. But Jim Harbaugh has shown everybody he knows a lot about football. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Yeah. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some oh, of that yeah. pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. The defense gets a sack. Well, having a quarterback get sacked like that early in the game, it puts a, a shred of doubt in the offensive line and also puts a shred of doubt in the quarterback's mind. He's thinking, is this is how it's going to be all day long? Bolden's lined up now as a slot receiver. He'll fire it out to the left, and he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run, nowhere for the running back to go, and they stopped him for a short game. Gores shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Third and long. In trouble now. And here he goes. And the quarterback will bail out on this play and slide feet first. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there. Nobody open to throw it to. So he just picks up some big yards running the ball. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool him. Well, they thought they were going to fool him with the run, but it only gets a short game. They tackle him for a loss. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive, crowd the line of scrimmage, and you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Fan intercepted. Tackles made. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. It's first down as they head to the line. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. The Seahawks now move the chain. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. Good 
They're able to move the chains after that last run. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down. Right back to him one more time. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Marshawn Lynch, what a run that time, picking up big yards. He is just tough and angry. Ever since he's been in Seattle, he's just been a different running back. First and ten. There's Pete Carroll on the side. Ball is out. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumble the football in a situation like that. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Ball slipped out of his hands. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Almost intercepted that time. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. And he's almost intercepted. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. The 49ers are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. The throw to the left. The 49ers get a first down. This league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man coverage. First down and 10. Sticks to his hands. Bringing the play to an end. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Interception. They've got him down there. You've got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time, the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally, they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Harvins lined up in the slot. First and 10. Launching it deep. Could have been intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. <laughs> Russell Wilson has it under center. Second down and 10. Lynch. Trying to find an open to the right, and that gains a few. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. It's third down coming up. Challenging the defenders to the right side. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. Now, got a big lane. That last play made by Patrick Willis. 
Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? The quarterback throws it on the mark. Perfect defense called that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Scrambling out of the pocket. Gain of four. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. Second and six. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's intercepted. He's brought down. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. First down all the way. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. James in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Second and 12. Quarterback flips it to the running back. And he'll step out of bounds. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. And James is lined up in a single back formation. Throwing now to his left. Perfectly thrown. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, this is a terrible job by the defense. Touchdown. One thing the defense doesn't want to see, yards after the catch. Yak. And that's what we saw here. The quarterback put it right on target. The receiver is running full speed, catches it, and takes it all the way for a touchdown. Defense. They're flagged for running into the kicker. Everyone's lined up for this kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Lines up here. First and ten. Slashing to the right side. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and six. He'll go left. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Going to be a penalty here. Encroachment defense. First down. First down following the penalty. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. Has some space to work with. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. at the 18-yard line. Colin Kaepernick under center. Now first and 10. 
catch is made, popped up the football. A recovery by the defense. Nice tackle. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. down offense readying for the snap picks up just a couple you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive so you have to run the football every once in a while that run even though it was a short game it served a purpose out of the gun throws to the right secures it with two hands games 16 good play call that time by the offensive coordinator down inside when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone find ways to complete the pass they did that time first and goal Lynch is gonna take the handoff now they keep fighting for every inch every yard as they move closer and closer to the end zone now this offense they fit perfectly with the head coach he's a tough guy he's a grinder and this offense what a job here right now they are grinding this football like you said right down the field second down coming up Ball is snapped, and the quarterback, the Seahawks, are in the end zone for the touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Seahawks with the PAT to come. Extra point was good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. comes out in the nickel. LaMichael James gets the carry. And that'll gain just a few yards. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. Offense lines up here. He sends the halfback in motion. Second down and seven. Working that left side. Ball is out. The offense was able to recover the ball. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here. No doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player. But at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. Third down. They need to get the playoff. That ball has been picked off. The tackle was made. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Come to the line, and it's first down. Looks to his left. Percy Harvin with the Number grab. Three. Nice catch by the receiver, but he still doesn't get a first down. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half.
Miller's playing out of position in the backfield here. Getting sacked. The quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving. You want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long. Gets the sack and that just kills uh, the time manager. He's wide open for the grab. That's a terrible job by the defense at the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover him down the field, and you give up the first down. That long gain sets them up here on this play. score touchdown and what a touchdown there for the offense the quarterback just fires that football in there look at the defenders around the receiver but the receiver big enough tough enough to go up in there and make that catch Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff that'll be a touchback and the ball will be placed at the 20. Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Looking to scramble. He's into the open. He steps out. Well, good job that time by the defense. Getting the pressure on the quarterback. But you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time. He breaks the pocket. He's looking down the field. Nobody open. So he decides to run and picks up some big yards. Kaepernick will be taking Ohio, this one from Ohio, the gun. Ohio. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. Going to take off with it. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Baldwin's a receiver Black in the slot. Black round, Black round. Black round, Black round. Black round, Black round. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. He's looking long. That's an interception. In on the stop. I, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know. When you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. Percy Harvin with the grab. Well, you play this cover, cover four. In other words, you've got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the in cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the in round. Ball comes out. Recovery by the offense. Nice job that time by the offense. Even though they fumble it, at least they were quick enough and smart enough to get it on it right away. Harvin in the slot. First and ten. Into the open flat. How did he drop that? Well, he dropped the football. There's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Offense lines up here. Second and ten. Pure determination. What a run. Touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done. And this team definitely has one.
This is a big time return. James lined up as the single back. Ohio, 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 Ohio. They motion the receiver around to the other side. They're going to get him this time. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. The wide receiver in motion. The formation here, shotgun. Antoine Bolden with the catch. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Kaepernick from the gun. He wants to go deep. An incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just... That was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. quarterback doesn't get the snap in time that's going to be a delay of game right here Baldwin's lined up in the slot Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Trying to work that left side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. The Seahawks signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. The football sits at the 40. And James is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Here's the quick toss fumble they recover their own fumble so that's going to do it here for the first half Seahawks are up here in this one we're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by 21 time to check in quickly with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines Danny I got a chance to quickly speak with Colin Kaepernick during halftime right now his guys are trailing but he told me he wasn't concerned at this point he said we haven't played our best football but that's okay because we can still finish strong and get this win that's it from down here guys we'll just have to see how things play out back up to you danielle thank you very much now we'll go to the field lined up in the pistol formation and here we go the first snap of the second half they deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and 13. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Anytime as a quarterback you see the receiver coming across the field on a drag route, don't lead him, just stick it on him. Quarterback throws it too far in front that time. This is third down. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Makes the catch in the open field. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. 
You've got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seating. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Ohio! Ohio! James, a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. He stacked up at that point. Davis moved from the tight end position to the slot. Second down and seven. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't fool the defense, and he gets taken to the ground. He loses yards. He'll throw it over the middle. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. The wide receiver shifting around in motion, challenging the defenders to the right side, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Here we go. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and ten. Going for the home run. Hauls it. And that'll close the gap. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. up now for the two-point conversion the ball is out how much does this sting they get the touchdown but Phil they fail to get the two Jim I think it takes a lot away from the football team it's a terrible decision now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Harlem the response out that'll stop the play right there what a lucky play that time by the return team they fumble the football Nobody's hustling, but somehow they find a way to recover their own fumble. Lynch is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. First and ten. On the run. Taking off. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Escaping the pressure. Looking to the right side and throwing. And batted away. Good job by the corner that time. Knocking the football down on the throw down the field by the quarterback. That will go down as a pass defense by him. Good job. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Going across the middle. How did he do that? Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield, looking for a receiver on the left side here. Gains 14. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. He 
such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be, got himself in position, and he made it happen. They come out in the dime package. Third and goal from the six. Throws to the right. Russell Wilson targeting Tate, but it's incomplete. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Fourth down, goal to go. He'll fire it out to the left. Touchdown, Seattle. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. And the extra point is good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. Breaks free, steps out of bounds. Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. the 49ers will go with the pistol on this play. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Launches it down the field. And they can't connect. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Two tight ends on the field here. Second down and 10. They go to the right side. And he's going to pitch it here. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They motioned the receiver around to the other side. Eyeing that left side. Oh, it almost picked up that time. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. Baldwin's in the slot. Halfback sent in motion. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. The 49ers lined up in the pistol. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Has it. Touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The 49ers for the extra point. No, it's not. It's a fake. We talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. Yeah. 
first and ten. Running it like it's an option play. He's got a wide open alley. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The Seahawks in the pistol. Out of the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Touchdown, Seahawks. Well, the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Makes the PAT. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Here's the quick toss, and they're all over him at the 18-yard line. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver. The wide receiver in motion. Loads it up, it's going deep. The catch is made in the secondary. You saw why defensive backs can't sleep the night before the game when they play against this quarterback. Beautiful, long throw down the field for the big completion. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. First and 10. Gets away from the pressure. Gets past the first wave. He's brought to a halt. The 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Kaepernick able to find Mario Manningham. So anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. First down, following the long play. Lamike takes it across. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. Challenging to the... And he's intercepted. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. And it looks like the kicking teams recovered the onside kick. Lined up in the pistol formation. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. He'll fire it out to the left right where it had to be. Touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. Right. And so they convert it here on the two-point drive. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back.
onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. First down coming up. A tackle behind the line. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. They feed the running back. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Well, this defense all over that play. They tackle the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long advantage goes to the defense. Throws the pass. Reaches in, swats it away. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Welcome back to a wild one here. quarter underway now with this snap and he holds it in gotta have a lot of courage to call these type of plays don't you Jim and and at that time even though this team is winning the coach decides to go for it on fourth down good play call and they make it work here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch that was a running play at that time by the offense and picked up some good yards nothing like it show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards That last play made by Patrick Willis. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Play number six coming up on this drive. Scores the touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Count it. Offside defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Setting up in the pistol on this play. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Trying to make something happen. Looking to the right side and throwing. The 49ers come out in the pistol. Second and ten running away from the pressure. <laughs> that pass was hurried. Nice job by the quarterback that time. Got outside the pocket, got away from the pressure, uh, gave himself time even though the pass is incomplete. Good job of avoiding the sack. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Gets away from the pressure. Breaks free, has some space to work with. Quarterback giving himself up. Well, the defense put the pressure on the quarterback, but they didn't take advantage of it. He gets outside the pocket and takes off down the field and picks up a lot of yards. Man, nice job by the QB. They motion the receiver around to the other side. The give, and he'll go to the left. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Uh, I can't give all the uh, credit to the offense here. They go for it on fourth down here in the second half. Even though they're losing, the defense should have known that that play was coming, and they should have stopped it. First down and 10. Throws to the right. Zeroed in on that one. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra of every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, 
even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Take force and across for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. Looking across the middle, so put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The receiving team all is out. Reed makes the tackle. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The return team, they don't block anybody, but very fortunate to recover their own fumble. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and 13. Takes it from the weak eye. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. Third down now. Running a little college-like option. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. The Seahawks now move the chains. Nice job by the coach that time going forward on fourth down. His team is up here in the second half. He wants to keep momentum on his side. That's why he goes for it, and they get it. First and ten. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down coming up. He's headed right. Spins out of the defense. Ball's on the ground. The offense was able to recover the ball. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. First and ten. Michael James gets the carry. Slashes to the left side. Two-minute warning. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. Looking for an open receiver on the right. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football.
failing to complete that one. So second down here. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. Uh, it's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. Lining up now for the two. to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. the defense on this play. Now first and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Pass complete. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. LaMichael James is in the backfield. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. The throw to the left. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. Oh, nice job. That cornerback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Flex round! 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 The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Here we go! Flex round! Flex round! Third and four. Sack the quarterback, and that's a quick series, a three and out. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Throwing now to his left. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Well, I'll just say this, Jim, when you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Left side, and he is brought down at the 39. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, you still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Here's the first snap after the big play. Going across the middle, very nearly intercepted. A lot of athleticism on display right there. Two battling for the football, and no one able to come away with it. Well, you said it right, to two tremendous athletes, but a good job by the defense that time. They won out. He's going to the left. They bring him to the turf. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Harvin's in the slot. Third and four. It's intercepted! Runs out of bounds. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense. And finally, he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. First and 10, and James is taking. The ball is jarred loose. The defense has the football. That brings the play to an end. you got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it, 
the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. Now a first down. Working that left side. And Harvin, with some nice hands, brings in the bullet pass. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Got a flag is in there. They'll run it off the toss. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. Offense lines up here. This game's come to an end. Phil, before we go, how about this win? How much will this...